First of all, let's tell everybody who you is. This is Rhapsody, man. She sound with Nice Wonder. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm in Pittsburgh. I'm on JBTV. I'm good. Like. Oh, man. I mean, to see you to blossom as a female right now in hip hop is just amazing. Your music is filled with passion and soul and it also has substance to it. It's not just like this, no disrespect to Nikki, but it's not like this Barbie doll type music. This stuff got you hitting them with something. How 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 is your music being accepted worldwide right now? Oh man, I just I just got back from Europe and it's good to go out and really see how people are receiving and it has been great. Uh, I went to South Africa in 2012. That's one of my biggest shows I've ever done. I went to Japan. The love was amazing there and Europe was crazy. So, you know, it's definitely budding and, and blowing and, you know, people are, are catching on to it and they're, they're emotionally attached to it, which is beautiful. So yes. it's good when you can make music that touches people. That's oh, all man. I've wanted. You're That's what I'm definitely I do. doing that, man. Uh, you've worked with like Erica Van Du. You worked with like Gene Grass. I told you, I told my homework says, how, what, what experience did you learn from working with someone like Erica? Uh, oh, well, when me and Erica did our song, we were in the studio together. You know, we did the email back and forth. Um, but I've talked to her a couple of times, and she, and I met her twice, two or three times, and she always gives me great advice. You know, uh, you know, just about humility and confidence and walking that line and and being the king on your chessboard. So you know, things like that are priceless. Like. I would rather have conversations and get knowledge and, you know, just her viewpoints on the game. That means more than me than, you know, us doing 50 million tracks. Like, you know, that's that's something that is priceless that you can't, you know, you can't, you can't get that back. Right, right. Now, you have this, this mindset that's culture over everything. Can you kind of break that down for my viewers? A lot of them are kind of younger and they don't really understand what hip hop culture is. And, and I've read something once you said that uh, I think it was in a bad magazine. You said you put that before money, you put that before jewels. But can you explain us a little bit what that concept and that mindset is? Uh, you know, just to make it as simple as possible, it's pretty much for the people and by the people. And, you know, our culture is rich with, you know, the way we talk and our community and, you know, just telling that story and uplifting each other through, you know, song, dance, graffiti, you know, whatever, um, the way you dress, just being original. Mm. So when you put that before anything and you really touch somebody, you touch a person, you know, money and all that just falls in line. So, you know, make that, you make the people and, and building up, lifting and building community up you know what you stand on make that your foundation because that's always going to be stronger than money money and cars and things they come and go but once you do that like you're good forever love i am rhapsody.com i got one more question for you can i get a 16 can i get a 16 can i get a, can I get a 16 i gotta tape it on the show that's what's up <laughs> sis man i appreciate you hey i'll be trying man <laughs> thank you have a great show i appreciate meeting you so much man good luck with everything oh man no doubt appreciate it but push your jpb that's how we do